Hey, good morning, y'all. It's Jay the Asian Mogul here. I am here with a, a live video. Um, it's early this morning. But I still wanted to make this video to get in the habit of doing it. So that way I can be more comfortable when talking to you guys about whatever it is. Um, currently, I'm live streaming on my... Um, J Nice page and live streaming on my personal page, which is Jessica Morellis. So I wanted to talk about a few things. Actually, one thing in particular, one t um, topic, which is never getting comfortable. So what I'm doing in the meantime, because I, like I said, it is still early, and I want to see how many people I can actually get to watch this. And um, just in the meantime, you know, just say what's going on, good wave. You can say good morning. Good morning to everybody that is watching me. And I hope y'all having a great morning so far. Um, I'm actually doing a lot of things this morning. Uh, trying to get in the habit of get, getting up early in the morning. So that way I can take care of life pretty much. And of course they can say the early bird gets the worm. So if I just stay in bed all day. I personally would feel like I'm not getting anything done. So I like to get up and do something. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, i actually been messaging a few people about work. So, I'm, I'm on both my computers right now while I'm talking to you guys. And I got my meditation music playing in the background. So, keep me in my zen mode, you know. Um, so, shoot. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't really want to sit and just wait. Because all that's going to happen is people going to watch this later anyway. So, Basically, is like I said, it's never. The, the everybody might be at work today, but if you're in Atlanta and you know city shuts down when it's um get a little bit of snow. Supposedly we're supposed to have gotten some snow, and the, the weather was supposed to be really bad. Now I technically haven't seen it. Looking out the window now, I don't see it. They say it might be. It was supposed to be around like nine in the morning. It, people are still going to work, so. If they are at work, that's fine. If they have are watching this and they decide to stay at home, cool. So either way, like I said, everybody will just be able to watch this on their own time. Now for me, it just for me because I I'm I don't work till like the nighttime, so I'm just gonna do this early in the morning, so that way I can at least have it generate something from them. Um, for everybody that's actually uh, the entrepreneur who are actually doing their own thing and. They, whatever you actually are doing, it, sometimes when you're, because we don't automatically just get up and are raised to actually have that type of mind frame as far as getting up in the morning to take care of what you need to take care of. You're used to the nine to five habits. You're used to getting up and waking up in the morning to get ready for work so that way you can take care of work and then come back to do whatever you need to do. But as an entrepreneur, you really have to come outside of your the conditioned mind frame. You really have to think differently because you can't think like the nine to five. Like your business will not survive on that mindset. What's going on, Mel? You know, and it is something I've definitely have noticed along my path, along my journey. And being as you guys know, I am a graphic designer and I've been doing that for ten plus years and been noticing the different changes that I had to go through and to put myself through so that way I can see the accomplishments that I wanted to see and see the success that I wanted to get. And I'm still working towards that. But it's all, again, a mindset. It's all a mind frame, being able to think outside of the norm, being able to realize that I can't get up at 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning just to get up and go to work, come back and go to sleep and take a nap and eat a bunch of food and think it's cool, and thinking about my business is going to survive. I actually have to think differently. So with that, it was basically me becoming uncomfortable with what I needed to do so that way I can see those results to be greater than what I was already had in my mind as far as what was conditioned and what was acceptable. So I had to, of course, be, stay up long nights, you know, get up real early just to learn a skill, just to be able to perfect that skill and to be able to understand that these things are going to be handed to me and I have to go out and get it. Keep in mind, as a graphic designer, I learned everything that I know now on my own. I literally got my books. I really, I literally watched my YouTube videos for me. I love YouTube to the death. 
Meaning that uh, you can learn pretty much anything on YouTube except being a surgeon. Like, literally anything. So, it means a lot to me being able to know that I can actually take that and use that to my advantage. Use that to know that what I'm doing and what I'm learning is actually going to be a beneficial to me. And it didn't cost me a dime. Keep in mind, I went to school. I went to college. You know, I, I still own, I still owe student loans to this day. But because I took that upon myself, exactly, YouTube University, right? So I took that upon myself to this day to say that I'm just going to go out and get it. You know, and I can still, like, even now, I still go to seminars. I still learn from the best that's out there. And I, I just have to be able to take those things and put them to use for you. So that way you know what is working best for you. And, of course, what works best, you multiply that. And from there, that's when you'll see the growth. That's when you'll be able to see that what you're doing today is definitely going to be helping you in the long run. And a lot of us, again, if you are a condition to the 9 to 5 mind frame, you're not going to understand that. You're not going to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Because you might be used to being able to spend those that money on them student loans. I don't care for that. Me, personally, I don't like owing people. And I definitely don't like owing the government. Tax season get ready to come up. I know all y'all want every last dollar that's coming. So with that being said, I want to make sure that I get all the money that's coming to me. So I will learn on my own. I will take that initiative, get uncomfortable with the process, and learn. You know, so it's this is where you definitely have to do something different. You definitely have to be able to say, okay, I'm not used to getting up at five in the morning. I'm gonna start doing that tomorrow. Or I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do that in the morning. I'm gonna do that as soon as possible. Don't put it off to the side and say, "Oh, I'm gonna do it next week" and nothing like that. Because guess what? Next week's gonna be turned to a month. Next week's gonna turn to two months. It's gonna be in next year. It's never gonna happen. So this is where you have to push yourself to become different than what you normally are used to, so that way you can be great. So that you can actually see something outside of you and be able to say, "Like, hey, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this last year, but look at me now." I'm doing this shit. I'm handling it, right? Just look at yourself just today. What were you doing this time last year? If you weren't, if you don't think that you're better today than you were last year, then you're not growing. You're regressing. There's, and you can stay, you're staying stagnant, but when it comes to growth, in my opinion, especially when it comes to self-mastery, you have to be able to continue to grow. There's no, there's no such thing as being stagnant. By that time, you be, you basically are regressing. So you want to make sure that you continue to do something, to continue to push yourself. I'm going to give you guys another example. Um, when I first started doing affiliate marketing, I, I'm in like a whole bunch of different shit. But this is where the seven streams of income come into play, right? So I started doing affiliate marketing completely out of my norm. I'm so used to getting my, my business when it came to my graphics was through my referrals. Like literally referrals. When MySpace was popping, I was making money. Right, and then from there, people were just it was tagging people in my shit, and I was making my money. Then, of course, face MySpace was what it was. Facebook came into play, changed up the whole game. Right, so then I started doing my YouTube stuff, and then I I kept on doing my websites and everything. But what ended up happening is I actually had to think differently because now I became I started doing marketing, and I didn't have to do as much marketing as a graphic designer because I was, it was mostly referrals. So now as a graphic designer, I actually had to, I mean, as a marketer, I actually had to learn how to market my business so that way I can get people to see it. And as an affiliate marketer, because you're basically, as an affiliate, meaning that you're using somebody else's product to promote and make money from that. And you're basically getting a percentage from whatever that is that you're promoting. So as doing that, I had to learn how to promote that. And I was doing MCA still doing MCA. This is like two, three years ago. So, and I believe, and if I select to pick up, pick up a product to work on and promote and to make money off of it, that's usually because I believe in it, right? And this is such thing as, if I think it's going to die later on, I'm not going to definitely join it. But I believe in the product, I believe in the service, so I stick with it. To this day, I actually still promote it. I actually still pass out flyers. I do guerrilla marketing. I do all that stuff. And I make sure that I go out and I show my face. And I am not ashamed to do that because I have to stand by my product. I have to stand by whatever it is I'm, I'm representing. And if you can't do that, then people aren't going to be convinced that you're the person for whatever it is you're selling. They're not going to want to buy from you, spend any kind of money from you. You know what I mean? And if you're trying to be successful, if you're trying to represent yourself and your brand and become this next big thing, you have to make sure that you put yourself out there. You have to make sure that you are being 
seen on the front lines and that people are actually going to want to speak to you about it. Like to this day, I don't think I'm the top person to talk to when it comes to certain topics, right? But other people do. So I can't say, well, I'm not the guy. Go go talk to somebody else. Nah. If, if they see that in me, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for them reaching out to me. That means that they actually saw something in me and was able to say, like, hey, she knows what she's talking about. Let me see what, what she got going on and work with her. You know what I mean? So that's usually what it will come down to. So then you have to make sure that you take that same information, that how, however it is that they found you, and use that to your advantage. And this is how, of course, you'll be able to grow. People will be able to know more about you. People will be able to invest more in you. And the longer that you do it with consistency, the money that you also that you have started generating will definitely start to multiply. And it's not an easy task because, again, if you're not used to doing this, you have to push push yourself to do it and continue to do it. Like I get people to this day asking me about YouTube. Like I only got like 1,900 subscribers. But for me to get to that point, it, it took me to understand my market. It took me to understand the people who are watching me and how it is that I was connecting with them. So that way they can actually understand what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and who the hell I even was. So if you're not doing that, you need to make sure that you go out and do that. Put yourself out there. You know, show, show these people who you really are so that way they get familiar with you. And then they'll be able to invest in you. Okay? And again, consistency. It's a, it's a huge thing. It's a really huge thing. Something that I had to learn. It's something that we all have to learn. As entrepreneurs, it's, it's dire to be able to make sure that you continue doing that when it comes to your business. Um, I want to say that might be all. I actually wasn't planning on trying to have this whole preaching sermon as far as this video goes. But it, it's something now that I feel like I'm doing this. And it started off because I wanted to do the 30-day video challenge, right? And if you aren't already doing something like that and you're thinking about growing your brand and thinking about growing your fan base, definitely consider doing this 30-day video challenge. Now, for me, I'm still working on my consistency. And I'm going to say my first seven days, I've done it maybe the first three days in a row, then I missed a couple of days. So I, I make sure that every day that I miss, I still go ahead and continue doing it. It's not like I'm cutting out my days, you know what I mean? So... Try it out for yourself. See what you think. And because it's you, it's funny because what will also make you change how you do things will be dependent on your circumstances. So for my phone, for example, it runs out of space a lot. Okay? So I can't record 10, 15 minute videos on my phone, save it, and then go back and try to edit it later because the phone will cut off in the middle of the recording. So the crazy thing about it is I was like, well, let me go ahead and do Facebook Live. I can obviously be on here for as long as I need to and talk to you guys. And be able to still get my point across and not be cut off or use space on my phone. So this is how this came into play. So you never know. Sometimes these things happen for a reason and, and this could be what is my gem in the middle of everything that's going on. So this is where it comes to make sure that you are okay with trying out different things because you never know what could actually happen and what could help you blow up. What could We all want to be viral, right? So this could be your way of becoming viral by just trying out something and seeing what happens of it. At the end of the day, my motto is try everything once. You only live once, so you should be able to be able to try at least something, everything at least one time. So as long as it's not detrimental to you, it's not going to hurt anybody else. All right. So on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all. Um, work on the ideas for my next video. So far, I love doing the live. Um, it, I really, being that I'm, I'm simultaneously broadcasting on two pages is a little crazy for me, but I feel alive doing this. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching, and of course, continue to give me likes. And I'm going to try to include my, my YouTube channel at the bottom, too, because I will definitely put this on YouTube, which reminds me, I might go ahead and just put this on YouTube live when I do this again tomorrow. So I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for y'all's support, man, and I'll see y'all the next time, all right?